Last weekend we had a final training camp before EOC and JWOC competitions for the Polish national team. This video will be a flashback from that time during which we've had three races that uh, youth was supposed to run with full racing speed. So we had sprint, we had a long distance, we also had a relay during the last day. But also in the meantime, we had some interesting games, competitions, AOC party. And also I took this opportunity to talk with some of the runners and ask them about their goals for the upcoming championship events. So hopefully this will be interesting to some of you to listen to, maybe learn a little bit more about your competition, your rival, rivals, and maybe also get to know one another, which is always a very important aspect of going to those competitions, socializing, making new friends, making uh, new memories that you can cherish later on when you grow out of being the junior. So do enjoy this one and I will just get myself out of the way. Which uh, national champs are you going? Is it European champs or world champs? You mean like in this uh, competition? Or? No. In orienteering. <laughs> okay, so uh, no European uh, championships. Okay, and what are your goals for mm -hmm. the competition? I want to like do my best. I am not thinking I am like strong enough or good enough to have uh, maybe like a podium place. Is uh -huh. I think too far from my goals, but maybe top ten would be achievable and that's what you're hoping for yes that's my like very i really hope i can achieve this all right goal Coming back from the training when everybody else is playing games. Because I had to. What do you mean you had to? My coach told me to, to do the training, so oh, I had to. What a nasty coach. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel before mm -hmm. AOC? Pretty good, pretty in shape. Uh, so I'm going for a camp after the egg simulation. So I hope to be in the top shape for Eric and counting for some. What, what kind of camp is it? Like a high altitude camp? No, not or really. Not like... really. In, it's in Zakopane, so it's not that high. It's not that high, but there are still mountains. Yeah. Beautiful ones, yeah. so to say, <laughs> on top of this. What are your goals for EOC? Mm, really hard to say after the last one, EOC. But what happened I'm, to the last EOC? Yeah, I had foot poison, so the only run that I could present my my form was on the relay okay and um, i am counting for some really good uh, results and sprint maybe not that high on long distance but but still and their relay is metal hope so really metal for metal you're hoping for metal yeah with the team it's a, it's a pretty strong team from the polish side isn't it yeah but there is like swiss Czech Republic. I know, but there was uh, always competition. It's not yeah. like, you know, we, 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 had, we, we, we can't take it for, for granted, definitely. Yeah. And you're also going to JWOC this year. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Are you uh, proud of yourself? Really happy, really happy about JWOC party. <laughs> so that's your main goal for JWOC. <laughs> Maybe not. To, su to survive to the party <laughs> and then survive the party. Yeah, maybe <laughs> not the main part, but um, yeah, almost, almost the main part. <laughs> Uh, but um, what are you planning to learn from JWOC? Mm. You're going to be starting as a, as a runner that is uh, still very young for JWOC and uh, it's a great opportunity to grab some valuable experience. Yeah, the main goal is to, to that's what you just said, the 
the experience. That's that's the main goal, because there is like more bigger bigger competition than AOC. It's more professional, I would say. So, yeah. Which this is, are you going to be aiming for at JWOP? Could so, you repeat the question? So, yeah, which, which distances are you aiming for the most on JWOP? Similarly to EOC, like uh, sprint distances mostly? Yeah, but there is also a sprint relay. Yes. That there I is. am counting for to be in the, the you're best ho- team. You're hoping to be the best team. Yeah. For, well, there, there's quite likely going to be just one team. Yeah. So one and, be- and the best. Yeah. We will see yeah. how it goes. All right, good luck, JJ. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hello, sir. What a very nice stick you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Chilling after a race. Uh-huh. We have to regenerate before uh, tomorrow's last uh, race. What is the last race tomorrow? Uh, first, uh, first leg of the relay. One way, one way, one way. So I mean simulation. So, I'm so, simulation so essentially the best race ever. Because relays are awesome. Yeah, I like relays. I mean, <laughs> I'm on the first leg, so... It's a good training opportunity for you. Yes, yes. It's, it yeah, it's do- actually a good opportunity for everyone. We will, we, will, we will have a discussion about it later. Or maybe tomorrow morning. We will see. I mean, it's not like that second leg and third leg are that, more, that much more different, right? Exactly. Exactly. Still. You can still run in a group on the second leg, on the third leg. Everything can happen. Yeah, but and during that kind of training, you can still learn um, some sort of things you will probably need also in individual races as dealing with, uh, I mean, stress and stress uh, which is caused by other runners running next to you. Uh So it's good that we have that a lot of I mean that a lot. Uh, like fr- friends on a similar level f- to with who we can compare to. Yeah, we, we can we can really have a nice training here with what, high what, level runners. What yeah, were so, your goals? For? So that when we're on a, a similar level, we can uh, we can like um, chase each other in the forest. Uh, run next to each other. So absolutely. So. Uh, that you know we're well, I'm hoping you're going you're going to be doing a lot of that tomorrow goals for this training camp when you came here? Tymek. Oh. <laughs> oh, he was looking at you. <laughs> okay. But he, he was already talking a lot, answer. so Tymek, you can yeah, answer. Yeah. Well, my goal was to did my best on especially forest races. Uh, I, like, was just, I didn't know what to expect because it was kind of long time without having any competitions with other guys. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 
especially like in forest. Yeah. So that's why I didn't have any goals for the results. I just wanted to be uh, to see where I am physically and don't do any sort of stupid mistakes that I will regret later and just yeah check myself mainly physically and technically and I'm kind of proud of what I have achieved uh, on today's race because I was uh, being afraid that it will be harder for me physically after a disease that I have like around three weeks ago it lasted around one and a half week good so you're both going to Yok this year. What are your goals for Yok? Well, I guess just race at such level that I will be happy of my race after it. And it's always a good goal to have. And uh, when I I have a feeling that when I look at my previous years on Yok, I couldn't really deal with that stress about long distance because that was the race I really wanted to perform well at so I changed my mind a little bit so now I have I know that every race for me is like the same important uh, so so yes even if I like did some mistake on for example first first race i have another and uh, there are and still i just want there. to take it easy yeah so that you, you want to still have the same kind of opportunities on every race and don't not worry about you know flopped races if that happens hopefully not hopefully not <laughs> franek what are you doing here I'm just having fun. You're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lie. He's waiting for a party. You're not here, just having fun. <laughs> what are you really doing here? So, I'm just doing everything to be better. And uh, I'm trying to get to you. Maybe next year, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, so <laughs> Franek is, for those of you that don't know, Franek is uh, our reserve runner for uh, men 16 category. So he's here training with the rest of the team because anything can happen and we want to be prepared. So that's what he means. Well, that's what he means by saying that he, he's doing his best to improve as much as possible. <laughs> Professional microphone <laughs> and a handler and a handler for it. So, introduce yourself. I'm Hanna Sobol <laughs> from Poland. Yeah, go Poland! And which competition are you going to? Jaywalk. Only, to, only to Jaywalk. Why aren't you going to Eok? Eok? Uh, I'm too old. Oh, what a pity. Would you like to go to Eok? Yes, yeah, sure. We can make things happen, you know. Yes, <laughs> I. People t <laughs> say that I don't. So also <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, which uh, jaywalk is it going to be for you? Second one. Second. And what are you hoping to achieve on your second jaywalk? I don't know. Good races. I will see. Good races, and you will see. Uh, how did you do during the last jaywalk in Fine. Portugal? Uh, are you happy with your results? Yes. Yes, I'm happy. 
but I think I can do better in sprint and I think I made a progress this year, so I will see how is it. <laughs> Good to hear. And uh, after Jaywalk, what are your plans for your orienteering career? Uh, I'm going to European University Championships in the end of August. Good. So that's it. And maybe to uh, uh, European Championships in sprint in, in the end of September, I think, or beginning of November. Are you still planning to run hard next year after I switching so. to this elite class? see but i'm planning yes good poland will be very happy to have another top orienteer in women's class and what about the preparations for uh, this season how did they go did you have any problems with injuries stuff like that uh, no I, preparation were very good i had many opportunities to go to the camps with itisa and i think it was going Good. Then I had some problems with my left glutes, uh, but it disappeared. But then I had a spike in my knee that hurt so much for some days that I couldn't even walk on the stairs. I went to physio and I said, oh, I have a spike probably and that's why it hurts so much. And he saw it and said, it's nothing here, only the spike. So he did a dry needling. So more spikes in my knee, <laughs> like not in my quads. And then it was fine. I managed to run Yomila week after, so it was good. Good to hear. All right, Hannah, all best for the J work. Thanks. My name is Jakub Tuborek. I'm finally a member of national team of orienteering. And I'm a bit stressed before the interview, but it's not my first interview in English. So <laughs> the first one was during one of the competition in Sweden when I, I came first with like a two minute gap to the second guy. So, oh, come here. We would like to <laughs> talk with you. So um, how do you feel about the upcoming jaywalk competition so it's completely something new for me but like the goal is still the same to have a good race and perform as as best as i can do you have any goals for jaywalk mm, in terms definitely of the what you forest do, races forest races you're going forest to be races. focusing on yes. forest races yes is it because sprint is not your domain uh yes yes because it's not my domain and like I prefer to run in the forest and it, it is better for me. So, Do you hope to keep being a part of the national team for the upcoming years? Yeah, I would like to still be in the like elite team, but there are still, still strong guys there. So Yeah, absolutely. And some youngsters that are trying to also be in the national team. So I will work on that and see how it be. Yeah.